Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today in this video tutorial we will learn about how to make a simulation of serial data read with the help of Arduino in Tinkercad. So Tinkercad is our online simulator. So in Google we will write Tinkercad and click. And now we got our Tinkercad.com website. So here our website has been opened. Now we can see this create button here. So we will click on that and then choose circuits. Now here we have a lot of components, but we will select our Arduino microcontroller. Now click on this code button, go to blocks and then click on text. It will show us the coding format in text. Now here we have wide setup and wide loop and both the functions are essential for our Arduino coding. So in wide setup we will write serial dot begin 9600 so this thing actually will initialize our serial communication protocol with a baud rate of 9600 baud rate is just a symbol rate okay that is 9600 symbols used to travel in one second so this is our wide loop so here we will write while loop inside this while loop which is obviously a forever loop just like a while but we can write while serial dot available serial dot available means that if there is any serial data available then our while function will get execute all these statements within its body so here it is written while so whenever any sort of we will enter any sort of data here like d you can see e r or any other so this statement will get okay it will it, it gives us one and then all these statements within the body of this while loop will get executed so here we will write int a or or what's called as the correct ray is equal to serial dot read so what will happen serial dot read function will actually read the serial data that is coming that we, we will give on serial, mo serial monitor okay and then we will again this print serial we will again print this serial data on serial monitor like this so Okay, they said or read so so it must be like this and now we will write a and it's written a q and q w e r okay so whatsoever we are sending data on serial monitor our controller is just used to read and display all this data on serial monitor so in this way we can uh, communicate serially with the microcontroller so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe